guys, this is Matt with Comics Gaming and welcome to another source mode tutorial. Um today we're gonna cover um key values. Now I've been wanted to do this tutorial for quite a long time now, since I think this is actually very interesting to play around and to mess with. And it's actually pretty cool because you can save information for a long term sort of. So yeah. Well, I'm gonna teach you that today. So we're gonna. This might be quite a long tutorial, since I'm gonna explain line by line what I'm gonna do, so you guys understand actually what I'm doing. So yeah. So yeah, basically that. Um. Okay. Um. First, I'm gonna reuse all this since it's from the other tutorial. I'm gonna change this to key values. Okay, so um, what I'm we're gonna build today is a plugin that's gonna store a value. No, no, no. Um, we're gonna store the player name, the Steam ID, and and I don't know, probably nothing else. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so starting with the key values. To start with, you need to declare a string so we're gonna do static um, static means that the size of the array is never gonna change like you're not gonna you can change the value of it it's not like in other languages that w when you make a static variable you cannot change the value in this one you can change the value but you cannot change the space of the array itself I don't know if that's clear or not but yeah so we wanna make a static string <laughs> And we're gonna call it um key v for key values path. And now we're gonna write in here platform underscore max underscore path. This is gonna give us this is a number defined in the source mode API that that's gonna be like I don't know I don't know how big, but yeah it's a number and it's, it defines the maximum numbers of characters that path can handle or can have basically so yeah okay after doing this we wanna create a public on plugin start whoops 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 and in here we wanna wanna type build path ooh path there we go it builds a path relative to the source mod folder um so basically it's gonna create a file with nothing in it but it's gonna create a file it's gonna like you know when you type um, right click and then you type new and then file it's basically gonna perform that action but through a source mod so here we wanna type path sm like that path sm is gonna say the first um, actually let me let me show you the, the things the arguments so let me write path sm again comma path sm is gonna say okay where the hell do you want to start creating this file now if you write path sm it's gonna take the root directory as the source mod folder so yeah as you can see it says type of path to build as the base the buffer is gonna be the buffer to store the path and it's gonna be our string that we build up there so we're gonna write a string for a second and size off. Well, I don't, ah, shit. Uh, string. <laughs> I don't know the build path. Then it says FMT, the format string. So it's gonna be the name of it, the name of the path you wanna build, and then the format arguments. That's actually not important at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me type. It. Let me replace here the string with this and here size off. And when a name since we're doing a path sm, it's gonna say if you don't do path sm it's gonna take HL to the M or I mean um the mod for slash as the main folder. So it's gonna be main folder for slash add ons add ons and I misspelled it. Uh, whatever. Uh, add-ons for slash source mod 
for slash blah 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 so when you write this path sm is gonna say okay goodbye and my main or root directory is gonna be source mod so source mod for slash blah 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 so we want to say okay I want to build this in source mod for slash data for slash um, we're gonna create a folder here um, we're gonna call it um, uh, let's call it um, let's call it I don't know damn tutorial you can name this whatever you want and then we're gonna name the file data actually player info dot txt and now um, because since this tutorial this folder tutorial does not exist we wanna create it here by typing by typing create directory directory um, so the string the path now here you can not do path is m so yeah and then folder is gonna be like I said before the mod name so we're gonna do mod name forward slash add-ons forward slash um source mod forward slash data forward slash tutorial and now when I write comma three, why do we write comma three? Create directory. Uh, the mode. The mode is permission. Um, the permission is actually not used here in, on Windows. It's more for Linux. It says here that it's used for it, it, oh, it's used for uh, it's used for Linux, but you cannot see it because it goes out of the screen uh, or out of the recording dimensions. So yeah, yeah, it's actually you can ignore that. Just type any number you want. It's 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 okay. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is when the plugin starts, we're gonna create a directory. We're gonna create this di directory. Then we wanna create the the build path. It's gonna create the player info file. Okay, great. Good starting, I guess. So now, okay. Um, we want to get the player information once they connect to the server. So we're gonna say public on client on client put input in server. Yay. And here uh whoops. Client. I'm gonna create a, a method called the um save player info. Maybe you're saying, is this a function that's already built in source mod? No, it's not. I'm going to create it right now. And this is going to be an explanation how to make custom methods. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty uh, new tutorial, because we never saw this kind of stuff. So yeah, cool. So we're going to call this one public. You can call it public or stock. Quite the same. Stock save player info. I'm gonna copy and paste it. And as the parameter, we want to take an integer, which is gonna be client. The client is gonna be the integer that we want to take. If you wanted to have a string as the parameter, you would write string, blah blah blah, and the size of or empty for unknown. Unknown is gonna give the value later. But yeah, I'm gonna cover that in another tutorial with the custom functions. We're gonna learn how to make string functions, boolean functions, integer fu functions to return different types of data. Um, yeah. So save player info. The first thing we want to do here is say, okay, so obviously the client is it. Okay, so we're gonna say we're gonna start with the key values right now. So we're gonna say new handle handle and we're gonna call it uh, DB for database equals create key values okay it says const string name the first key and the first value we're not gonna complete the first key or the first value we're, g we're just gonna give the name so the name is gonna be player player info Let's go here. The thing we wrote player info is basically gonna look like this. 
this is the source mode I mean the devolve developer website it's gonna look like this when we first create the file it's gonna look something like this this is gonna be created later for now you can ignore it but yeah after that this this is gonna be filled with this okay so okay we create the handle now we wanna say okay we don't know if we had already given some information and saved it to a file so just in case we want to say key values I mean file to key values file to key values means okay get the key values from the file this file right here I mean this one and put it into the key values so the handle is gonna be the database the key values we created and the file is gonna be well this one right um key values is a way of storing information with different keys as uh, uh, sub keys and all that stuff different values different types of um of data you can save in these amazing sort of stuff they created um you can have temporary key values like they don't save to a file and you can have permanent key values that are going to be saved into the file you decide so right here we're going to save them into a file um, the other the temporary key values are used for something else like dialogues where you put information and you want to take it back you want to take it out because you don't need it anymore so yeah sort of like that so we're saying file to key values so get the file get the key values from the file and put it into this key values that we created we want to say we wanna, what we want to do basically let me create a new file we want to have the base structure here and this is going to be whoops this is how the key value is going to look once we're done we're done with it so we're going to have the base and then we're going to have the steam id of the player and then we're going to have here uh, we're going to have the name of the player and um and let's do something cool let's do how many times they connected let's do times connected of course this is going to be in quotes this is going to contain a value this is going to contain a number um the name as you can see this is a key and this is the value and this is the main key this is the base this is the main key these are sub keys so yeah I'm sure I'm not gonna re erase this I'm gonna leave it um, why am I saving it like the steam ID why am I sorting stuff with the steam ID because it's a good way to not mess up since the steam ID is unique and no player is gonna have the same as steam, steam ID, same steam ID as another one this is good for testing and for not messing up okay so first thing we're gonna do is get the, the new string steam ID say it if is steam ID shorting get client auth string the steam ID the client is gonna be the client the auth is gonna be um blah, blah, blah on the sit and then size off why do I always have to mess up on that word size off and now we wanna say um actually guys I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this part here and I'm gonna make part two so stay tuned please subscribe and part two is gonna be somewhere in the screen I'm gonna leave an annotation with the link probably so yeah See you guys in the next part.